Sleep. Why did you really come back here? Was it for me? Yeah. And the poems? For you? What was your big plan? What did you think was going to happen? Did I show you that you still love me? And that no one else could love you like I did? You're wrong. I never loved you. I have an amazing life here. And I have a boyfriend. And I never, ever want to see you again. Don't worry. You're not gonna... Your boyfriend's terrifying. He did this to me. Maybe you deserve everything you get. Oh, yeah? Did I deserve this? Your boyfriend's a twisted psychopath, Cleo. I've just seen Pete beaten up lying in an alleyway, and I saw what you did to his arm. I'm sorry. You said it was a scuffle. Tell me, do you know how much trouble you could get into about this? Why would you do that? Look me in the eye and tell me that Pete didn't deserve this. I'm sorry that I lied to you, but I'm not sorry that I did it. He hadn't changed at all. He hurt you. He was going to hurt someone else. I didn't ask you to do this. You didn't have to. You fought for me with Dr. Lay. Why do you think it would be so hard for me to fight for you? I didn't beat her up and leave her in an alleyway. Look, baby, I did this to protect you. Please just forgive me. I need to go. Cleo, uh, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Uh, Toby said you were fine, but uh, you ran out on dinner. And I was a bit worried uh, in case your old troubles were resurfacing. Uh, if you need to talk about food or, or about anything, I can be an impartial ear. Uh, no, it's nothing like that. Well, have you got a minute? Uh... I do have something on my mind. Of course, I have time before dialysis. Join me. What does the Bible say about doing bad things to bad people? Uh, you are talking about vengeance. Yeah, I suppose I am. Doesn't it say an eye for an eye? It does, but it also says do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Any reason for the interest in morality? Uh, I will not pry, uh, but I am always here if you need to talk. What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Ah, uh, well, that is a big one. Forgiveness is one of the greatest gifts we can give, to extend mercy to those who have done us harm, even if they do not deserve it. Letting go of that unhealthy 
Anger and guilt can be even greater for the one who forgives. Thanks for coming and talk to me. I mean, I knew you had a temper, but what you did was next level. So what does this mean for us? I don't know. I just keep on messing everything up. I, I don't want this to be the end of us. Not when I... When you what? I've known this for a while. I just didn't know the best time to tell you. Tell me what? I love you. Oh. I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. I'm hard to love. I love that you want to protect me. But you can't hurt people. What, do you think I'm like him? No. Oh. No, no. You are nothing like him. You were abused your whole childhood. And yet you are so sweet and loyal. And there's a part of you that is so innocent. All I want to do is protect it. You know, when I saw Pete on the ground in pain, part of me thought, good, that is where you belong. But... But that's wrong. And that can never happen again. You get that, right? Yeah. I don't want all this intensity. I just want to have a normal relationship. I've never even been in a relationship before, let alone a normal one. <laughs> What does a normal couple do anyway? Oh, they watch films and go for dinner. Well, I'm free now, if you are. Give me neck, that was quick. Toby. Toby. It was a mistake. She wasn't supposed to be the victim. Mitchell was. I murdered my cousin, Lisa. Oh, I didn't mean to kill her, I didn't. I didn't mean to kill her.